Mr. Putter and Tabby Catch the Cold One Blowing and Hacking Mr. Putter and his fine cat, Tabby, loved the snow. It made them feel so cozy. Mr. Putter made warm tea and warm muffins. He lit a fire, and he and Tabby watched the snow fall. One day, Mr. Putter went out in the snow without his hat. He wanted to read the funnies in the newspaper so much that he forgot it. When he came back in, he said to Tabby, Tabby, I forgot my hat. I hope I don't catch a cold. Tabby sat on Mr. Putter's head to keep it warm while he read the funnies. She tried to help him not catch a cold. She did her best. But Mr. Putter caught one anyway. The next day, he was sneezing and coughing and blowing and hacking. He felt miserable. Colds aren't so much fun when you're old, he said to Tabby. When Mr. Putter was a boy, he had almost liked colds. He always got spoiled. His mother brought him warm soup and minty tea and adventure books. Mr. Putter loved adventure books. But now he was old. He was old with a cold. And he had no one to spoil him. 2. Mrs. T. Berry Mr. Putter's phone rang. He picked it up and said, Ah, true! Mr. Putter? Someone said. It was Mrs. T. Berry, Mr. Putter's good friend and neighbor. I caught a cold, said Mr. Putter. Oh, my goodness! said Mrs. T. Berry. I'll be right over. Oh, no, said Mr. Putter. You shouldn't come over, Mrs. T. Berry. You might catch my cold. And it's not good to be old with a cold. Tabby rubbed against Mr. Putter to help him feel better. Ah, chew! went Mr. Putter in Tabby's face. She decided to stay on his lap. You need someone to look after you, said Mrs. T. Berry. I'll be fine, said Mr. Putter. You need someone, said Mrs. T. Berry. I'll be fine, said Mr. Putter. You really need someone, said Mrs. T. Berry. I'll really be fine, said Mr. Putter. I'll send Zeke, said Mrs. T. Berry. What? said Mr. Putter. Three, Zeke. Twenty minutes later, there was a scratching at the door. It was Mrs. T. Berry's good dog, Zeke. He had a thermos strapped to his back, and he was wagging his tail. Thank you, Zeke, said Mr. Putter, patting Zeke's head. Zeke wagged and went home. Mr. Putter and Tabby looked inside the thermos. Chicken soup, said Mr. Putter. Hooray! Tabby purred.
She loved chicken soup. Mr. Butter and Tabby were having their soup when there was another scratching at the door. It was Zeke again. He had another thermos strapped to his back. Thank you, Zeke," said Mr. Putter. Zeke wagged and went home. Mr. Putter and Tabby looked inside the thermos. Peppermint tea with honey sticks," said Mr. Putter. "Yippee!" Tabby purred. She loved honey sticks. Mr. Putter. And Tabby ate their soup and drank their tea. Mister Butter was feeling much better, but he wished he had one more thing. He felt so selfish, but he couldn't help it. He phoned Missus Teaberry. Missus Teaberry, the soup and the tea are wonderful. He said, "Wonderful," said Mrs. Teaberry. "But," said Mr. Putter. "But," asked Mrs. Teaberry. "Would you perhaps have?" said Mr. Putter. "Would I perhaps have?" said Mrs. Teaberry. An adventure book," asked Mister Putter. "Of course," said Missus Teaberry. "You do?" asked Mister Putter. "Yes, I do," said Missus Teaberry. "But the book really belongs to Zeke." "Zeke?" asked Mister Putter. "It's about a brave dog." Said Missus Teaberry, "It's Zeke's favorite." Um," said Mister Putter, "Do you think he would loan it to me?" Only if he gets to come along," said Missus Teaberry. "Zeke is very attached to his book." Mister Putter thought about it. The adventure book came with Zeke attached. Could he manage Zeke and a cold? Would Zeke be good, or would he be Zeke? Mister Putter was desperate. Of course, Zeke may come with his book," said Mister Putter. Wonderful. Said Missus Teaberry. A few minutes later, there was a scratching at the door. Four, the best cold. It was surprising. It was amazing. Zeke was good. Zeke was fine. Zeke was perfect. As long as you were reading his adventure book to him, Mister Putter and Tabby and Zeke curled up in Mister Putter's bed and read all day long. Mister Putter sounded a little funny with his stuffy nose, but Zeke and Tabby didn't mind. They wanted to hear about the brave dog. Mister Putter read and read while Tabby purred and Zeke wagged. And when the brave dog story was over, they all snuggled up and went to sleep, full of soup and tea and adventure. It was the best cold Mister Putter ever caught. <laughs>